In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to deactivate a theme inside your WordPress dashboard. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below this video. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your clients, and for your business. If you have not done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. And now let's get started on deactivating a theme. To deactivate a theme, log into your WordPress dashboard, go to Appearance, and then Themes. Find the theme you want to deactivate. It's usually the active one. It's always in the top left corner. And to deactivate it, you have to activate a different one. There is no deactivate button. A WordPress site always has to have a theme running. So to make sure there's never a time where there's no theme, there is no deactivate button on a theme. But there is an activate on every other one that's not active. So you can instantly replace the active theme with a different active theme, but you cannot deactivate themes. Hope that made sense. If I want to activate OceanWP, I just click on Activate here, and that will deactivate the Aveda theme because now it's no longer active. And that is how you deactivate a theme in WordPress by activating another one. That's the only way you can do it inside the WordPress dashboard. There is another way it can be done inside of the Hosting Account cPanel where you can deactivate a theme without activating a new one, but then your site is themeless and it does not look good. But if you want to know how to do that, there's a tutorial I've linked to in the card above in the description down below that will show you how to manually deactivate a theme inside of cPanel. And next up, I recommend the video I just spoke about right up here where I show you how to manually deactivate a theme if you want to do that through your cPanel in your hosting account. And then check out this playlist right here, which is chock full of beginner WordPress tutorials to help you get a solid foundation in WordPress so you can create awesome stuff. Make sure you check that out and bookmark it for future use. If you haven't done so yet, also make sure you click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Until next time, keep crushing it, and I will see you in the next video.